Hi, this is the Poodle Guy, and I'm going to talk about how to choose a player in Poodle, a media player. So the general idea is that for each of the file extensions that you wish to display in a media player, you can assign one of the players that are in Poodle, or if you wish, you can even create your own player. So we have, the, uh, in this case, we have assigned a native audio player to the .mp3 file extension and video.js player to the .mp4 file extension. You're not limited to mp3 or .mp4 by the way. You can specify any file extension that you wish or choose from any of the commonly used file extensions which are there by default in Poodle. Now this all becomes interesting because you can actually specify a different player for those file extensions at the course level and at the activity level. So for example in a particular activity you might choose to use the shadow player or the mini audio player to handle audio. Whereas throughout the rest of the course, you might choose a more all-purpose audio player. So let's see how this is all done. So let's first choose a player at the site level. This will be the default player for the site. So from the site administrations menu, we choose plugins and we look for the filters section where the Poodle filter settings are. In there, you'll see file extension settings. And at the top of the file extension settings page, it's a list of the file extensions that you can handle. You can add to that list if you wish to. And below that, for each of the file extensions, is a checkbox to handle or ignore that file extension. And then underneath that, a drop down list of players that will be used to handle the file extension. So in this case, for MP3, we're currently using AudioJS Shim. Let's change that to native audio. So that will change the default audio player for MP3 right across the site to native audio. To set the default player for a course, the menu is in a different location. It's in the course administration block, which on boost is in this little cog on the top right. Under there, you'll see a filter filters menu. And in the filters menu, you'll see the Poodle filter. And beside that, on the, on the right hand side, a settings link. When you click on the settings link, you'll be taken to a very similar page. Here you see again a list of the file extensions and the ability to handle or not handle them, and a list of players which you can select from. We're going to choose a one button audio player. And that has saved as a default setting for the course, the one button audio player. Now we can also set the player for an activity in the activity administration settings. And those are again in the boost theme located in the little cog on the top right at the very top of an activity. And there we have again the filters menu. And again, we have a list of uh, filters and on the right hand side beside Poodle with the settings link. And we have a list of file extensions and we can choose a player beneath that particular file extension. So in this case, we're going to choose Media Element Audio, and that will be the player for this particular activity. And that will override what has been set at the course and at the site level for this particular activity. And there you have it. That shows how we can uh, select audio and video players for specific file extensions at different places within Moodle.